Life is life, whether in a cat, or dog or man. There is no difference there between a cat or a man. The idea of difference is a human conception for man's own advantage. There is no greater pride and glory than to be a perfect instrument of the master. The principle of yoga is the turning of one or of all powers of our human existence into a means of reaching divine being. When reason died, then wisdom was born. The experiences of your past life which are stored within come up to the surface to be rejected. By rejecting all these by and by the inside will have to be cleansed. All existence is a manifestation of God. True knowledge is not attained by thinking. It is what you are, it is what you become. The mind has these four levels, physical, vital, Buddha, higher mind. The supermind is far above these. The business of both parent and teacher is to enable and to help the child to educate himself, to develop his own intellectual, moral, aesthetic and practical capacities and to grow freely as an organic being, not to be kneaded and pressured into form like an inert plastic material. Only the soul that is naked and unashamed, can be pure and innocent, even as Adam was in the primal garden of humanity. Perfect health, sincerity, honesty, straightforwardness, courage disinterestedness, unselfishness, patience, endurance, perseverance, peace, calm, self-control are all things that are taught infinitely better by example than by beautiful speeches. The great are strongest when they stand alone, a God-given might of being is their force. The cup has to be left clean and empty for the divine liquor to be poured into it. To hope for a true change of human life without a change of human nature is an irrational and unspiritual proposition. Man is a transitional being. He is not final. The step from man to superman is the next approaching achievement in the earth evolution. It is inevitable because it is at once the intention of the inner spirit and the logic of nature's process. What the soul sees and has experienced, that it knows, the rest is appearance, prejudice and opinion. The practice of yoga brings us face to face with the extraordinary complexity of our own being. Witness and stand back from nature that is the first step to the soul's freedom. Our human knowledge is a candle burned on a dim altar to a sun-vast truth. The supreme end is the freedom of the spirit. The divine truth is greater than any religion or creed or scripture or idea or philosophy. Trust the divine power, and she will free the godlike elements anew and shape all into an expression of divine nature.